guys, welcome to Raja Makes Money. How are all my money makers doing? And what a day, what a wheat the chicken. <laughs> uh, wow, I mean, just crazy, crazy week, crazy, crazy week. And uh, so much to talk about today, especially with the CCIV, um, you know, merger and stuff, you know, news and, and what's really going to happen with it with Lucid Motors. And I mean, it, it is just a pop in. It is it's just going insane. So, um, but uh, God, so much. I mean, I mean, just a week. I'm just so happy the week is over. Are you guys happy the week is over? And we get another long holiday weekend, which we've seemed to do really good when we have these long holiday weekends because the one thing is the premiums and these options come out fast. Uh, plus, it gives everybody a little chance just to take a little breather. Sometimes it gets a little stressful, you know? Um, you know, just playing these and, and, and doing them and stuff and being in them and stuff. So, uh, I hope you guys all did great this week. I had a great week, almost up, almost like a half a million dollars. So, uh, somewhere in there, I don't really know. I can't even add that high right now, <laughs> but, uh, let's take a look guys. You ready to see how we finished off and what we're, what we have for the day. So, uh, uh, actually th th this week was a really, really good week. We didn't have the, the huge roller coaster. We actually had th three up days. One small down day and another big up day. So uh, just a, a great week. Uh, Jaguar Health, we bought those other 20,000 uh, shares yesterday, if you remember, at uh, 278. So those are up. So making a little comeback here. Um, it was up today a little bit after being down. Uh, this Ambio Pharmaceutical, this is a new one we just got into. Um, made a little money on it. So a little profit. Uh, Alternate Systems, this one here, we have taken a beating. I bought some more today on this one. Uh, but I think it's going to come back. I'm not not worried about it. Obviously, I'd rather <laughs> have been up, <laughs> you know. But you never know. And I, like I said, I, my focus isn't on. You know, I mean, we have a few small caps that haven't played out this week. You know, some we did. We took some profits earlier in the week off of them. But um, it, we're focusing on right now. The big focus is going to be CCIB. That I mean, when you see how many contracts I have outstanding, this is where the play is. Um, but yeah, so you can see your dart Bantac today. Um, it was up for a little bit. Now it's uh, down a little bit. Not, not much of a big move there. Um, uh, Connecticut, uh, CTYX. This is a position one. This is one you got to hold. Look at it. Don't worry. You know, we started buying this one at five, six cents. It, you know, it's, it's still triple from where we bought it. So, I mean, and, and it's been as high as 21 cents. This one, you know, uh, you know, people are saying 50 cents, a dollar, maybe more. So this is a position. You know, this isn't something that we're going to flip immediately. But yeah, yes, it goes to 25, 30 cents. I'll, I'm going to sell off 100,000 shares. I'll, I'll take some profit. But uh, this, this one's a building one. Dark Pulse today, same thing, was up, down. The other, yeah, yesterday, it hit that four cents. So I, I like a lot of these. Um, this one, Elite Pharmaceuticals. I wish I would have bought more. Um, not, nothing huge, but, you know, it keeps going up two days in a row. Fresh Promise Foods. This is an interesting one. Um, you know, it's been around, you know, not, nothing nothing crazy yet on it. Uh, our Gold Rich Mining one, or still have a nice profit on it, uh, down a little bit today. This is another one. It's a position play. It's, this thing, when this thing goes, this thing is going to be big. Uh, you guys are going to be like, Raja, I missed out on this one. You guys, do you guys like all these, you know, naked ones and that ran and all this other crazy stuff that you send dials and, you know, S SRICs and all that. This, this could be the next one. Um, naked. So something's wrong here because we bought naked yesterday. I got 144 or, one, or 146. I don't know. Some, some, something is wrong in their mathematical equation here on naked from where we bought it yesterday. Cause we bought this one after hours, if you remember, um, and it was act so we I think or 148 we paid I don't know something like that something screwed up in it not sure why uh, this one here NW Biotherapeutics uh, looking for this one to get going again it started going uh, yesterday or the day before also when you have the market today kind of sold off a little bit in the morning you know when the Dow and the Nasdaq were down and it came back and stuff um, so a lot of that stuff it's just it's just gonna take time you know to to play it out PPJ Enterprises. So this is interesting. Uh, I still have a lot of faith this thing got going, but they're proposing or they're actually going to be doing this a um, um, uh, 100. They were going to do a 200 for one, and now they're going to do a 100 for one. Usually you do a reverse merger. So if you're 100 for one reverse, would get their stock from you know like a, a penny to a dollar. But they're talking about doing a reverse. So if, I, if they do this, if I have 5.4 million shares, I would actually have like... 540 million shares or so? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I, I'm, I'm going to study it this weekend. Maybe if you guys have studied it, 
<coughs> send me some info on it. But yeah, something something is really, really weird on it. So um not sure what's going on there. But um yeah, just just definitely weird. So uh OZ Ozop energy up a little bit today. I, I think this one hasn't a nice chance to come back. We bought some yesterday, so it's looking good. Uh, but yeah, look at CCIB. So uh, what what we had here at the end of the day, I was almost at one point today. I was up two hundred grand. Um, the market maker's just playing with it. I, he wants to look good for he, he's lost so much money this week. He just wants to look good for the weekend. So what he does is he says, you know what? Because I mean, let's let's talk about this. Let's let's common sense, okay? CCIB closed today forty bucks, thirty nine ninety eight. Got as high as forty one thirty seven. Up, you know, eight points today. <coughs> And if you look at this, um, I mean, the 5,800 contracts that, you know, 27 cents barely moved today, seven cents. C come on. Uh, you know, at one point today, these were 15 cents. So, you know, if you take away, you know, 5,800 contracts, you drop that to 17 cents, that gives 58,000 more, you know, to the account. doesn't matter. Going into next week, we've got another $400,000 here. I even wrote some uh, CCIB, the $20 for next month even going out, and I already made $22,000 on that trade. I mean, it's just, it's a nice trade. I mean, look, I only had $185,000 I had to put up and to make uh, $107,000. I, I mean, this is just free money. So hopefully I want, honestly, I'd, I'd rather them not announce a merger, let the stock price come all the way back down to you know, $22 and just hammer them again. Let, let's take them for 5 million next month. You know, I mean, they, they want to give away money. The Raja will take it. I'll take all they have. Uh, I, Ionomics today was down a little bit. Uh, I'm not, I'm not worried we could roll these out or, you know, close them up and stuff. But, uh, you know, ho hopefully it, it pops up next week, gets above $5. Um, Golden Nugget was up today. You know, these contracts should expire, expire worthless. Corbis, uh, this one here also, um, you know, this is just a market maker playing around. But we have 2,700 contracts of that one. Uh, it's, it was as high as 4 bucks yesterday. Now it's like 3 something, what, 3 uh, or two ninety nine, so we're we're still in good shape. Fifty cents away from the strike price. Four days to go. It's going to be a long four days next week. We just like I said, even if CCI, so we need CCIB next week. Five points a day down. Now, I know you guys all want it to keep going, but obviously something is. Somebody knows something somewhere. So uh, just keeps going up. But uh, recap all my trades I made for you today. So uh, average down hundred thousand shares of this one at eleven point five. So it's actually pretty good because it closed at. Um, 12.7. So we actually we actually picked up a thousand bucks on this trade. Like I said, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get out of this one. We'll get all our money back and make some money on it. But uh, it just take a little, um, you know, um, you know, looking good. Uh, we have got some of the Ambi. That was a new one we played. That's already up a few cents. Um, what do we do? S A the uh, Solar Tech. Uh, got some more of that one. We got uh, N W Brothers. Bought some more of this one. At, you know, figure it average down a little bit. CCIV, look at this guy, it's another 900 contracts that give me, you know, 15, 16 cents. Then I did the uh, 2250s. I actually sold, <laughs> I just wanted an even number. You know how I am with these weird numbers. So sold 121 contracts. <laughs> just for the, and and I, I don't mind lowering the 2250s. That's obviously your higher risk than the 20 or the 1750s. So, uh, but um then CCIV did another, you know, this is one of the 500 contracts. So this is the one that I already made 22,000 bucks on. So that was a nice play. So that's all the plays today. Nothing, nothing crazy and stuff, but uh, looking good and everything on those. Um, also, guys, don't forget about the We Bull Challenge going on. Chris says, I screwed up on the contest requirements, but I'm up 72% for the week on the We Bull account. That's terrific. So hopefully you guys all keep making lots of money. Still have time to sign up to the We Bull Challenge as long as you're in there before the end of the month, uh, and there's the link. I just posted the link, and it's pinned there, so you can um, submit all you know, or, or to join the contest. Also, guys, uh, we posted a link, and the mods have been sharing a link, um, so you can update us. Uh, if you're doing good, send us an update. We want to know how you're doing in the We Bull Challenge, so we can share it. You know, maybe I can share it on you know uh, next Tuesday or what you know next week and stuff. Let everybody you know, or you could just stay silent and surprise everyone at the end. But it's for bragging rights, so. Let's brag if you're doing good. So make sure you share it with us. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing a lot of research on this weekend and stuff uh, on some new stocks, seeing how the market is. Uh, um, you know, it'll be interesting. Uh, we'll have our Sunday show like usual. Um, you know, talk about the week ahead. But Monday is a holiday, so won't have a whole lot. Um, you know, obviously with the extra day off, but um, so it'll definitely be uh, good. Um, let's look at uh, market here overall today. 
<coughs> Dow is up 27 points, uh, S&P 18, NASDAQ 69. And that's good because it was way down. So uh, impeachment trial stuff still going on. You know, on, in my opinion, it's a waste of time and money. I think, uh, you know, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like we have a country to run. Let's run it. Things are looking good. COVID is going down. You know, vaccinations are coming out. The economy is getting going. Why waste all this time and money on this right now? Let's let's get stimulus done. Let's get everyone back to work, get back to normal, you know. So, um, but I don't know that there. Uh, but, yeah, the big one today, CCIV hit a 52-week high. I mean, it's just crazy. Look at this thing. <coughs> one month chart. <laughs> but, you know, this thing did that one time when it popped up to, like, 37 pre-market and then came down. But, I mean, if you look at this chart, I mean, this, this thing's a, you know. This isn't going to twenty dollars next, even without a deal. What people don't understand is, um, even without uh, even without a deal, this is a smart guy who runs this this spac. This guy's going to put something in there. He's he's not going to say we don't have a deal with you know uh, Lucid Motors. Um, I'm buying uh, you know you know three I don't know you know three sushi restaurants to put in my spac. Now, I mean, this guy's going to do something big. He has, he, has a, he has a good track record, good history. So, Mitchell Pilot, five dollars super check. Up 10K on CCIV. The trolls hate you because they ain't you, but your tips have made me rich. Hey, man, congratulations. Uh, you know, I don't even listen to the trolls. I, you know what? When the trolls want to go online, go live, and show me what they're trading every day and how much money they made this week, this year so far, I will listen to them. But otherwise, like you said, they're just jealous. So uh, what do you think is going on with Apple? It's been stagnant. So, and that was one of the reasons, like, you know, I'm, I'm a huge, you know, fan of Apple. I, I love playing Apple. And I, I did play a, some uh, contracts this week with Apple, but um, it, it was really weird. Like I said, it, there's no, the volatility is so low. If you look at the five-day chart on Apple, basically where we started the week is where we finished the week. You know, we started the week at 136, so about their down, you know, point for the week. But remember I said, I go, I, I, there was no premium in playing Apple. Um is uh it's, it's just very flat all the news is out on apple we know their earnings they blew it out we know phone sales are going good um the thing we here's the things we don't know with apple you know that could you know you know could, could that somebody new sue them uh you know sure anything's possible you know, could somebody you know uh, electric vehicle yeah we have you know there was you know the rumor of that kind of spiked it up a little bit you know when it hit the 137 or whatever that day but uh no i, I think it's a good play remember i said when i did the 139 and I, I i got out of it and i said you know we want make the money and you know you just you just never know but you have to go with your gut sometimes on these tim one of our youtube sponsors in the house says yeah what's up with apple so um, and thank you guys. And any of you guys can become a YouTube sponsor and have access to the really cool up and down emojis and help support the channel. Love it, guys, when you do that. Uh, and also, guys, everyone who shares us all the time and tells their friends, appreciate it so much, especially on you know uh, YouTube. If you haven't followed me yet, make sure you click on the uh, subscribe button. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you uh, click on the um, uh, follow or uh, follow button there and, the, and stuff. So really appreciate it. Um, also, uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, just Apple, uh, you know, even if you look at the one month, I think it, it ran, it's, it's it's doing well. And I, I think it's just going to sit around this one, kind of like when it sat, if we look at the three month, when it sat around 125 for a while, remember like right in here, when it was kind of like that one, I, I remember what I told you guys, if you guys, you know, people have been with me since the beginning. If you remember, I said, if Apple breaks out of that 125, it's going, you know, to 135. And, it did it built a resistance and you know just came keeps going welcome chris our newest youtube sponsor welcome to the family dog parents online two dollars chat do you think the impeachment the impeachment is going to affect absolutely not Let, let's just go over the impeachment i mean honestly the only thing this entire impeachment means is that nancy pelosi you know, can smile, you know, give herself a pat on the back, you know, and the, and the Democrats. It, it doesn't mean anything. Or, and Trump can't run again. If, if he was to actually get impeached, he can't run again. I honestly don't think in four years he's going to run. Um, I think he's over and done. I, I think he's going to, uh, you know, um, I think he's going to be, I think he's over and done, you know, I, I don't know. And, and who cares? It's four years from now. We don't have to worry. It doesn't really matter what he's going to do. We don't have to worry about it for two more years to affect the market. What I am worried about is, uh, you know, we're in, in the whole, what, 26 trillion, 28 trillion now, or give away another 2 trillion. Let's just, we're wasting probably 50, 20 to 
50 million dollars maybe on this impeachment thing and it means nothing it's a waste of time um so but let's just do the let's do the thing on it okay he doesn't get impeached they wasted all this time and money the democrats look horrible he gets impeached they wasted all this time and money on it he can't run again for president in four years if he wanted to i mean it's a waste of time any way you look at it so i don't think it really has any effect on the market there's there's no there's no stock that's up or down you know uh out of it and stuff and uh like i said at the end of the day you know it doesn't matter so but uh hey guys let's look at bitcoin uh hit a record high forty nine thousand dollars i'm still waiting for it to dip down we're gonna get back into it um also i want to show you guys this look at dodgecoin it's been all over the seven back it was like 6.9 a second ago back at seven cents but and this is what i keep saying this is from the founder of dodgecoin he says crypto's rise is not something i can comprehend he this is the guy who invented the coin he's telling you that this coin is about it's a joke he's saying you know you know because he feels bad he doesn't want people to lose all their money um you know which is uh, you know marcus want to note that he is not getting rich off of dodgecoin which is up 2300 percent in the past three months he claims to have sold all his dodgecoin six years ago so but it, it was a, it's a joke of a coin it's you know this is the reddit you know uh we we stock you know people uh you know just a joke so hopefully you guys are playing stuff that makes sense don't get carried into these things you know unless you're the first guy out or you know you're really quick on the gun when you, somebody you know tweets something um but you know be careful because it, it, you're gonna get hurt in, the, in these but uh like i said just a, a terrific week terrific week and um you know uh you know it's just everything's looking good uh you know uh, CCIB right here. This is the big play, guys. So next week, going into the week, we have uh, this one's here's a little tougher because it's a five week out. But um, you know, we basically have to expire next week. We have you know, was that two three fifty? You know, three fifty three hundred sixty thousand. So we could have a good week. You know, we could. I was hoping to hit almost closing in on that six point five million. Um, you know, holy next week, who knows? Maybe we could hit seven million dollars. That's that's my goal. I think we can do it. We just got to work hard at it, make it make it happen. But uh, no, nah, uh, everything was good. I don't know. Anybody have any questions? What do you guys? Uh, um, Ken says, uh, greetings. Jeff Schwartz in the house just got to AC. Welcome, Jeff, and good luck out there. Jeff made so much money this week. A couple of his big ones is uh, bingo, as you guys know, and I'm sure Jeff's going to be playing some bingo this weekend to celebrate. But uh, bingo and CCIV, just two big ones. So on bingo today, $14. That one just had that pullback keeps going up. But uh, I, I think it's over. I think it's overran now to jump into it. But you never know. So, uh, you know, crazy. Like I, like I said, I, CCIV, Churchill, you know, <laughs> I can't say enough about it. This thing's the real deal. I, I told you guys we're going to make so much money off of this thing. And I hope I, I know some of my Patreon members have made a lot of money with it. They've been you know sending me screenshots of how they're doing and telling me. Um, also, guys, any of you who want to become a Patreon member, um, you just go to patreon.com forward slash Raja makes money and you get access to my uh, trades in real time. So as soon as I make them, you know what we're making. And we have a great group on Facebook, our private Patreon uh, Facebook for Raja Makes Money. It's been growing really nicely. Um, and, you know, lots of good chatter in there and stuff. Everybody's been doing good with it. Thank you, Carla, for the super sticker. Hope you're doing good in the market. Uh, hope I hope you got in on some of that CCIV. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, any, any other stocks you guys want me to look at? Anything? Tell me, how did you guys do this week? Let us some comments here. How are you guys doing? What do you guys? All right, Armando up seventy thousand today. That's awesome, Armando. Congratulations. What else we got? Hey, Raja, check out ATOS. That's a good one. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, bigger screen here. ATOS. I saw a lot of those marijuana stocks got pounded. ATOS. There we go. Up 14% at Tosa Therapeutics. So uh, let's look at a three month chart. So this looks like it just got going. So pretty good looking. Leah up 10 grand. Congratulations. What else we guys got? I'm so 
Somebody says, Erica, I'm so down. I oopsed on Sendile. Send Sendel. Sendile. The Sendile out today. I got out of that one. I anytime the Rajas sells early, they seem to run. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be too bad. It's only down two percent today. Um, but what did this thing get up to? Like three bucks today, right? <laughs> so two cent, yeah. This thing moved. What is the high today? Two thirty to the dollar seventy eight. You just never know with these. Yeah, the, oh, the other day at four dollars. So uh Never know. Uh, you could be like me and get out of it at a $1. forty or whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> you never know. Um, hey, Raja. I'm doing very – Matt says, hey, Raja. I was doing very well with some of the hype stocks earlier last week. I was up 100 on my 100 invested in the challenge. This week has been horrible, down to 140. All right. Well, just you know, keep your head down. Keep going, and uh, it all comes back. You're just going to keep playing it. Uh, Django, any true to Amazon or Netflix buying AMC? I have no clue if it's true. I've heard that rumor. You know, here's my here's my opinion on it. Let's look where AMC was. Um, you know, it's back down to five bucks. You know, it's three dollars where it belongs. Um, let's see if there's any news on it. Uh, popular spot. Yeah. Um, here's here's my feeling about AMC and you know them looking into it and stuff like that. Um, is um, the the thing is. Um, you're Amazon, you're producing all this content. You're producing this content to get people to spend money. Amazon's not, I mean, they, they bought a whole foods because it made sense for food distribution. And, you know, obviously you're Amazon and, and having pickup stuff and, and things like that. But why do they want to operate, you know, 500 theaters throughout the country? And, you know, so you say, well, they're making this content, right? But they don't want you in a movie theater to me. And it, it, the only reason I can see Amazon buying AMC is to shut the theater chain down and say, you know, we don't, you know, don't go to theaters anymore. Because think about it. If, if or, I mean, uh, I mean, not, excuse me, Amazon, Netflix, um, because why would they want it? It just doesn't make um, it doesn't make sense. And even Amazon with Amazon Prime, you know, video and stuff like it, there's just no I don't think Amazon's an entertainment company. It, does, it doesn't make any sense unless there was some play that they're looking at. And then the other thing is it's going to hurt them with negotiation. And, you know, think about this. You, now they own it, you know, so now you got to go to Par Fairmont, Paramount, and a new movie's coming out. And you're, gonna, I mean, you're gonna try and. I just think it's, it's unfortunately. I, I used to love going to movies, and I'm sure there's gonna be blockbuster movies out, and we'll all go back at some point, you know, to the big theaters, and there'll be, you know, life will be normal again one day. But um, I just think it's, uh, I just think it's a bad investment. I, I don't. I think about it like this, like. Why do you want to? Why do you want to mess with you know fifty thousand more employees and five hundred or three hundred? You know how many locations they have? Maybe three hundred locations. To me, it just seems like a lot of work and a very small. And you already know it doesn't make any money. You already know AMC is losing money. You already know it's you know what is the advantage? AMC doesn't own any assets. They were you know pretty much all their buildings are leases. Um, you know I, I don't know. So to me, that's just that's a rumor. I've seen crazier things. Who, who knows? Uh, you know, who, who would make sense to buy Amazon? I mean, AMC, honestly, I don't know. Like, like what is the play there? There's no, those buildings are built for one thing. You know, it's not like when, uh, if you guys remember, how many of you guys ever played Sears and Kmart back in the day and they were in the crapper and came back and merged and it was a real estate play. Well, one is, um, there's these malls are all empty. Think about this, like, uh, you know, like by me where the movie theaters are, they're actually knocking more buildings down and building apartments there. The only thing they're trying to do to save some of these little neighborhood mall areas is by building apartments, um, you know, into them, you know, um, you know, one, one person's floating a rumor out there that when uh, GameStop, if GameStop, when it was at $500 a share, they should have bought AMC and we could have just made giant video games, you know, centers, but, uh, no, I'm just kidding. um, but no, it's, uh, I mean, honestly, like it's, it's a dying, but I hate to say this is a dying business, especially like where they have 24 theaters, you know, they've tried adding liquor now and, you know, but you have Alamo uh, draft houses where, you know, to me, that's a better concept with the food and the drink and, you know, they're a little smaller theaters. Those have a lot more, I think, opportunity and, and some of that stuff to grow. And AMC is trying to copy that, but it, it's tough when you have 24, like by me, they have a 24 theater plex. You can't, there's not even 24 movies out to, you know, watch, um, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, and I think it's, it's unfortunately, it's one of those dying businesses, kind of like GameStop. It's a dying business. We, let's look at businesses 
that have like, you know, a future growth, like, you know, packaging stores, you know, grocery stores. Yeah. I mean, delivery and stuff is always going to affect that, but people are still going to go to grocery stores, Costco. You're, everybody wants to go to Costco, see what's new. You know, one day, like I said, it's going to be back to normal. They're going to have samples out again and everybody's going to, you know, really enjoy it. But uh, yeah, AMC, I, I think, I think that one is just done. Um, but um, so Kyle says AMC is done. They want to do a direct to consumer approach like Netflix. But that's the whole thing. They they have a brand, but they don't even own any content. Like AMC is going to start out of nowhere and, you know, now build, you know, I mean, I'm getting overloaded. I have HBO Max. So I, I pay for like the premium $200 a month, you know, cable package, even though I don't ever really watch anything. But I have, you have HBO Max, you have Peacock, you have Disney uh, Plus, you have, you know, Netflix, Hula. Who needs AMC? What the hell is AMC could even have? You know, and these services are also cheap anyways. You know, I mean, honestly, you know, with Netflix and, you know, I have Apple. I didn't even renew my Apple. They gave it to me free when, you know, when you bought the phone and stuff. So, uh, so I don't know. Chris says HBO Max is going to, HBO Max is going to show Warner Brother movies online the same day they hit the theaters. Why would anyone, I agree. That's why I said it just makes no sense at all. So, um See here, Nathan, typically a stock to buy and hold, sell for a profit trader. Can't get how options work. Can you explain more what you are trading with them and seeing with premiums? Of course I can. Um, and I've, I've done this a few times, but yeah, let me let me show you guys. So um, let's take CCIB here, for example. So I'm, so the 20, so I'm, okay. So the options you can, options is like a crap table. You can bet on it winning and you can bet on losing. If you play roulette, you can't bet on a roulette table losing. But craps is the one of the only games in the casino you can bet uh, on a winning uh, winning throw and a losing throw. Um, there's no there, – any every possibility on that table you can bet winning and losing, and, um, you know, pretty much. So – and that's what these options are. So I'm using – so if you buy a stock, you just come out, you buy the stock, you own the stock, boom, it's yours. So, for example, here – I have 5,800 contracts of the uh, $20 put. So if you normally, if you buy a call, you're betting on the stock going up. If you buy a put, you're betting on the stock going down. So, excuse me, let's say, so uh, CCIB is sitting at $40 right now. The $20 put is uh, 30, it shows 30, well, 20, uh, 27 and a half, or let's just say 30 cents. So if the stock's $40 and the $20 put is 30 cents, that means the $60 call is probably 30 cents too. So if you bought the $60 call today for 30 cents and the stock went all the way up to uh, $61, that 30 cent call would be worth uh, $1 on option expiration day next week. If the stock starts going up a lot, it's also going to go up as you have these time premiums and you have volatility. Um, if the stock comes down, same thing. If you bought the, so if you just wanted to buy a put, to see if this because you think the stocks will go down you just buy it for 30 cents you hope the stock goes down and if it went to 19 dollars, your 30 cents is now worth a dollar what i'm doing is i'm selling puts to open so i'm playing a strategy that is that the stock is going to i don't really care if the stock goes up or down i personally the more it goes up the better for me if you know until option expiration day but i'm playing a strategy of saying I like CCIV. I don't like it at 40 bucks. I don't like it at 30 bucks. I like it at $20. If this stock comes to $20, I'm willing. I have 5,800 contracts on this particular one out. I'm, I'm ready to buy 580,000 shares of CCIV at $20 a share. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Now, I honestly don't want 580,000 shares. And if it got really down, so, you know, here, uh, I may start a little panicking now. What I would do is then I would roll it out and I would just keep rolling it out until it, I just keep making money and I never get stuck with the stock. But what I but that's what a put to open is. So I'm I'm actually doing a bullish play while staying below while staying out of the while staying away from where it's at. So I, I hope that makes sense. Um, but I'm I'm just kind of staying away from it and saying I like it. I think it's got a lot of potential, but I don't. I don't want to own it. I, I, I I'm, and I'm also using leverage. Um, I'm using a lot of leverage. So instead of you know where I would have to only have fifty, like if I had you know six and a half million, or six million or whatever, I'd have twelve million dollars in buying power uh, by doing it this way. I, I have access to almost fifty million dollars in buying power. So I'm really leveraging it. Um, so here's upside and downside. If you own ten thousand shares of CCIB today and it went up eight dollars. 
you made $80,000. If it went down $8 today, you lost $80,000. Me, I have 580,000 contracts out there of CCIV. So for example, on the $20 uh, strike price, I made $25,000. So if you own if, so if you own the 580,000 shares today and it went up eight points, you made $2 million. If it went down eight points, you lost $2 million. Me, I made 25 grand. Since I started, I made $139,000 and I still have another 159,000 to go as long as TCIB stays above $20 and we have four more trading days next week. So by on Friday, if CCIB is at $22 and one cent, the Raja makes an additional 159 grand. If CCIB is at $22 and one cent and you had 580,000 shares at 40 bucks, you're probably not having a very good Friday. So that, that's the whole strategy. And then the other thing is you roll it out. So for example, if you see here now, so for next, so the only thing I don't like about these is they're monthly options instead of weekly. So, but if you look at it right here, I and I sold today these 500 contracts and I already made 22,000, but if, if this, if CCIB was to come down 10 points, these will probably be about three bucks. So I could take these here, I'm gonna buy back for pennies. If, if CCIB is, let's say, let's say CCIB went to actually $19, I could lose some money. I'd be buying these back for 580 grand for a dollar, but then I could sell these for four or $5 and pick up another $2 million. I, I would love that play, you know, if CCIB came down a little bit. Like, like I said, me personally, I don't care what it does, uh, as long as it stays above 2250, because that's my lowest, that's my highest strike I have right now. I did have those 25s that we got out of. So, like I said, uh, that's kind of how it works. Uh, and that's what I've we've seen you've seen me do an Apple where I you know roll out or roll down. Remember the one week when Apple came down, I had a so I bought back my position. We took a little loss, and then I sold. You know, I I said I you know four or five points below, or and we took we took some risk off the table. If I had you know if I said you know let's say the same thing, we would have made more money because it came up that week. But it, it's just some like I said, it's, um, it, it's just. Uh, it's just, you know, figuring out what the, uh, it's what your risk and appetite is, you know, and stuff of, of what you're doing and stuff. So Woof says, one of our YouTube sponsors. So if these are bets on up and down, who is the house? Who are you selling them to? Or is it just like selling and buying straight stocks? So with the option, if you're talking about the options, so you have market makers in the option play. Uh, these guys are getting slaughtered. So like like today, there's no, there's nobody who owns this stock. So if you own a stock, you could see you and you want to sell me the, the call or a put. So let, let's say you own the stock. You bought uh, you're in, you bought um, CCIV at eleven dollars. It's now forty bucks. You're like, I, I think it's going to keep going higher, but I'm worried that it could come. It, it's going to it's going to it's going to come back to eleven dollars. I'm going to lose all my profit. So instead of putting like a stop loss or you know, if, 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 I mean, common, common sense. If things forty bucks and you're worried, then you know, put a stop loss at thirty five or something. So you say, you know what? Uh, the Raja says he'll buy 5,000 contracts. You own a half a million shares. The Raja wants to buy 5 million, 5,000 5, contracts. Um, I'll pay the Raja 20 cents each. Uh, I'm going to give the Raja $100,000 to buy these for their, their 200. I don't even know. What is it equal? Um, I'm going to give the Raja 5,800 5, contracts at uh, 27 and a half cents here, 159,000. I'm going to give the Raja $159,000 because I own the CCIB at 11 bucks. It's all the way to 100 or 40 bucks. And I'm worried it's going to come back down. So I just want for, I'm going to give the Raja $150,000 just in case it really drops by 150% this week to buy my stock. So th that's what you're doing. So if you have like, a, it makes sense. And like, let's say you had Apple, let's say you bought Apple at 130, Apple's 137. And you're a little, you're worried about it, you know, tanking on you. So you say, you know what, it's worth, you know, selling this or, you know, paying a little money because Apple could, you know, could go down 50 points or to a hundred bucks. But in this scenario here, this is just a market maker. So, and this is what happened with GameStop is the market makers got pounded. And you can also see here. So let me, another example is the CLSK. This stock, same thing. The stock's $25, uh, $25 strike. The price is 28, three bucks above. And this premium is, you know, 90 cents. It's, I mean, this market maker, is, it's just ridiculous. And it was hard because and they're not used to that kind of volume. Same with this Corbis pharmaceutical one. We did the 20, this, this market maker is all over the map also, you know, um, in, in these plays. So um, a lot of times these smaller market makers, they're not used to this kind of action. And I think CCIB is just, um, you know, just got caught off guard. But CleanSpark, they're saying it's supposed to go to 50 bucks. I Personally, I don't care if it goes to... 
40 bucks. As long as it's above $25 next week, I make $45,000 on it. Right? So, um, but that's why I like the, I like, I like this scenario because I'm using a lot of leverage to make a lot of money. And like I said, sometimes it's not as sexy, as exciting as the OTC or a penny stock or some stock for you know a dollar that goes to $3, but we're making a lot of money. So uh, terrific weight, terrific week, terrific year. You know, I mean, let's, let, let, if we go, look, we look at this year to date, um, Pull it up. Find it. Balances. There it is. Year to date. I mean, we're up like almost 30%, like 27, 28%. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, year to date return 26%. I think that's a pretty good, and 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 that's with that whole. Uh, it's actually more than that because we start with five million. So the, 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 everything's screwed up because of that other when we moved that other money over that we had already made. So um, if you look at it, so year to date, this is more reflective because we started the see. So we really started the year with five point three, and now that account, that account that we moved over that three hundred twenty four thousand to, <laughs> well, and today this one got screwed around too because I, I started buying some more. Uh, I had Apple in this one; I made money on and got rid of it. I had a little Jaguar in here, but I uh, so I so you saw I played the one thirty fours, got out of that. So I bought another fourteen hundred. I'm like, this guy, this this market maker is insane. So like, I'm down seventeen thousand today, but I'm not worried about. it. I'm not really even down it. This market maker's just jerking us around. He's he wanted to make he's basically padded his books to make it look good for the end of the day. So what he said is, "Hey boss, I lost three hundred thousand this week to the Raja because this guy has, has got it going on." And uh, so what he said is, "I don't." So let's just manipulate it. This, this contract's worth ten cents. I mean, come on, the stock is twenty dollars away with four trading days left and. A merger is supposed to happen. So, I mean, all they did was, you know, manipulate, you know, manipulate it um, to make it look better and stuff. Um, you know, so it, it doesn't matter. He could have said that this was a $2 and I'd be like, I'm negative 200 grand today. Um, like I said, does, doesn't make a difference just how they play with it. But uh, that's why I said a lot of times you can't. Like I said, at one point today I was over when when CCIV was thirty six dollars or thirty seven dollars. I was up two hundred ten thousand dollars. CCIV goes to forty forty one dollars, and I'm up. You know, I was up one hundred twenty four thousand. I mean, it's just it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, when you analyze twenty six percent guys in six weeks, Raja makes money. I, I've been telling you guys, we're gonna make so much money. My goal. 25 million end of the year 15 20 25 million we're gonna do it and it's getting tough because like i said when you're trading in these large amounts it, it gets tough so uh but uh definitely gets tough 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 so uh kyle says apple is baked good <laughs> goods these days apple's gonna be good we're gonna play apple again i, I love apple so definitely be uh playing it armando says td ameritrade wants too much collateral for puts it's the best was it is it's the best way, way to pull it was what Way to play. I'm not sure what they require. I use Schwab for the most part for all my option trading. And, you know, obviously you guys can see that. Um, but, and you guys can see what the margin requirements are. So, um, James says, wow, you really made 124K today. I did, James. James, we are up for the week over $400,000. We may be up a million dollars. I don't even know, you know. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out. Does anybody even know how much we're up for the week? Did anybody pay attention? Um. So Chris says, I've been with Schwab and always been well taken care of. Good choice by Roger to use them. The only complaint is their systems have been very slowly. Yeah, they've had a few, yeah, they've had a few days when they had some crashes. Um, and that, yeah, that got a little uh, hectic with some of those crashes and stuff. Um, we, were, uh, we were just looking at about uh, the annual percent of return. But yeah, I mean, uh, max time, 90% in this one. But uh, yeah, if we do year to date and we try to... Uh, oh, we'll do one month. Uh, where do we start the week? Does anybody remember five? Was it like five nine thirty? Yeah. So we start the week at five million nine hundred thirty thousand. So four thirty. Oh, we did it! Five hundred thousand dollars we made this week, guys. Wow, that's what I thought. I, I was thinking I was screwed up with my math because I was trying to do some stuff. So uh, we did. Uh, yeah, we're up. Yeah, six, four, four, thirty, five, nine, thirty, five hundred, half a million dollars this week, guys. We are up. So, uh, you know, 
hey guys, thank you so much for believing in the Raja. Uh, and and you know what? And big shout out to all our Patreon members because you guys are killing it, making a lot of money too. And like I said, any of you guys can be part of it. So uh, whoever, you know, like I said, just go to patreon.com forward slash Raja makes money. And all my trades I make in real time are there. So, uh, you know, you guys follow them. I, I, next week, 7 million. Who, who thinks we can do it? It's going to be a big week. So. So he says, uh, Daniel, Don, uh, Don, Don, Donnell, maybe? Raja, hi, you're a legend underdog to legendary. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't, I'm not here to toot my horn, but uh, no, I, I told you guys when we were doing this show and we were starting, and I'm getting excited too. The studio's probably about, well, next week I'm supposed to go to um, uh, Choctaw, uh, Choctaw, <laughs> Choctaw, make sure I say it right, uh, Durant, Oklahoma, but with the weather conditions and everything. Uh, so if I, if I do do that, it'll be another week for the studio before we get it going. It's almost complete. Uh, if I don't go, I'm going to spend all week working on that. Uh, so but I, I, I really want to go. I know a lot of people are coming out to see the Raja down there for my big jackpot channel. So hoping to uh, do that. It's freezing down there. If somebody says that it's freezing here. So uh, WH says you're up 28.6% for the year. Not bad because if I left my money in the bank, the most I was going to make for the year is about a half a percent. So pretty good. But uh, hey, guys, don't forget the We Bull Challenge is going on. Uh, you can still get into it anytime. Sign up for an account. It's for bragging rights. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe on YouTube. Please follow me on Facebook. Please share. Tell everyone about us. Hit the like button. Let everybody know uh, how you're doing. And uh, somebody just got a late tip. Hold on. Let's check this out. C-H-N-C. -C. Anybody ever heard of that? I have no clue what this is. Somebody is sending me a hot tip. C-H-N-C. -C. China, infra China infrastructure. Uh, holy smokes, 292 million shares are traded today. This is this could be our new micro penny. So uh, nothing we can do with this one right now because the markets are closed for the OTC. Um, but this could be the new, this could be big. So I'll definitely be watching this one on Monday. A lot of trading volume there. Wow. The new one, China Infrastructure Construction. China Infrastructure Construction Corp. <laughs> What a, like a tongue twister to say that thing. So, But uh, hey, guys, enjoy your weekend. I hope you guys all made lots of money this week. Don't forget, this Sunday, we'll have our weekly Sunday update show uh, to talk about the week ahead and what plans we have going on and stuff. And, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for your support. And, and, and we hit 7,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube uh, uh, yesterday. So thank you guys so much. We are on our way, up, up, and away. So take care, guys. Enjoy your weekend. See everybody Sunday night.